And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. And we've got a Major League debut on the mound in this one, Chris. And always interesting to see how that goes. But I'm sure there's a mix of excitement and nerves running through him right now. Absolutely. Playing your first game in the show, it's just a little different for everyone. But no one walks in unfazed by the moment. I don't care what they say to anybody. And that's especially true as a starting pitcher that's expected to go out there and give your team a quality outing. All eyes will be on him out there on the bomb. Should be fun to watch and see how it plays out. All right. We'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway on the hill and coming off a great start, Spencer Strider. Yeah, it was Nails last time out, worked deep into the ball game, racked up double-digit strikeouts. We'll see if he can repeat that performance in this one. And now, Mookie Betts. Leading off tonight for the Dodgers, the second baseman. Good eye right there. Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he's got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. On the scoreboard. Swings through it for the K. Gassed it right by him. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Freddie Freeman stands in now, looks at that one inside. Bounce to the left side. Arcia whips it to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. Coming off a big one in their game yesterday, J.D. Martinez. Real solid performance for him in his last ball game. Couple of home runs, got to jog around the bases, looked really locked in. And, you know, that's the kind of confidence that you want to see a guy have. I'm not saying he has to hit two homers again, but I think he's going to be a factor in this one. The batter now will be Will Smith. And Acuna able to make the grab. And they get the out on Smith. And that'll do it. Dodgers go down quietly. And now the Braves, with their first chance to hit, were scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark and towing the slab, Bobby Miller. And singing a special day for him. He's making his Major League debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. That's in for a strike. Chris, the tools for Acuna, the one thing that jumps out for me, power and power to all fields. I love his right center field pop, and we saw him in the All-Star game a few years ago. He looked like a left-handed hitter hitting home runs that direction. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. But not just offensively, but this is a guy that has a cannon of an arm. He's thrown balls in over 100. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. On the warning track, and hauls it in. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. And this offense is really clicking right now, Chris. That's a good feeling in that dugout over there. You feel like when you walk to the plate, you're going to get a knock. You're going to drive in a run. You're going to do something productive, even if it's just get a walk to keep the line moving. And that's a great feeling to have. They've got it bottled right now. Here's Matt Olson. And a strike. Miller. Right-hander kicks deals. Nope. Miller, a big part of the storyline for us today. He's making his debut and hoping to carve out a valuable role in the mound with this ball club. Left-hand batter waits. And down on strikes. Now two away. 
And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his He's own. Out. out number three. Down in order go the Braves. Scoreless after one. Back at Truist Park, new inning getting started. Max Muncy at the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And he'll play it on a bounce. He was all over that one. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Blasted two home runs in last night's game. That one missed. Yeah, On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Here's Jason Hayward. He was one for five back on Sunday. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. The pitch. In the air out to center. Hilliard drifts towards it. Pulls it in for the out. That is the left field. David Peralta. Two on, one out. David Peralta at the plate. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Hit weakly on the ground. Albies tags the runner. No throw here. First and third now with two out. That again. The center field, number 33, James Outman. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. The one two. Sets him down looking. Huge call third strike against a big bat to end the inning. Two left on. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. Miller back to work. Out to short. Rojas tosses across the first. That's one out at the bottom of the second. No left field. Eddie. Here's Eddie Rosario, one of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. 
Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove Gotta side go. across the strike Second zone, eight. especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to oh, miss baby. off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. In two. And a pop-up right side foul territory. And Albies is retired. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in Atlanta. All set for the start of the inning. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Righty to the plate. That to right. Acuna has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. Now back. The second base. And now it's Mookie Betts. Singing you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks. Now. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. To first. And Betts is set down. The first base. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. As we go to the last of the third. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Marcelo Zuna. He goes down looking. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Here's Orlando Arcia. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Arcia in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he's driven in double-digit runs over his last ten games. Out towards right center field. Hayward on the move to the gap. And that quickly two away. Batting the center center field. Field. Sam Hilliard Sam. now at the plate. Hilliard. The why to kick the pitch. And hey. down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Now the Braves go down quietly. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark. Out of the fourth. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. Left field. Rosario makes the catch, and there's one gone. The first base is number 13. Max. Here comes Max Muncy, and he's already singled in this game. Bows it back with two strikes. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Muncy hits one in the air. Rosario drifts towards it. Brings it in. And there are two down. Up next is Doc Ock, the designated hitter. Here is J.D. Martinez. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. One cool note on J.D. Martinez, he is the most recent player to hit four homers in a game. Only 18 guys have done it in big league history.
fly ball to right. And puts the squeeze on that. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, ripped and this one could be extra bases around first digging for two and it's a leadoff double for their first hit of the game good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift you know not a lot of guys are willing to do that even with the shift on because they're looking to pull the ball with authority but it's a pretty easy hit if you want it runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game and now Matt Olson up to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's in there for strike one. Good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Got him swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Offering misses. Three and one. Austin Riley on deck for Atlanta. Kicks and fires. That one hit to right. And there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but... Okay, competitor like right him, by. he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's Austin Riley. Grounded out his first time. Just a slow ground ball this time. Muncy. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big-time costly mistake there. Bad time to throw one out of play with the runner starting on second as it allows him just to walk home for the run. Remember, on a ball thrown out of play, the runners get the base they were going to plus one more. So that was basically an automatic run. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Pitch nope. misses inside. Ball one. And ball four to a board. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. He popped out his first time. Marcelo Zuna next to bat for the Braves. The 3 1. And they're all loaded up. Ball four. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Caught looking his first time up. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. On the ground. Throw on to Freeman. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. So they get one but end up leaving the bases loaded. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Braves one and the Dodgers nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning and at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Next to hit, David Peralta. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Out 
outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's the strikeout looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Outman stands in here, tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Dodgers down in order. They still trail one nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now, Orlando Arcia. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares... Bounce to third. And that's a fair ball. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Here's the center fielder, Sam Hillier. And here it comes. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The right fielder, number 13. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Three two now. Can't lose ball. pitch popped up Rojas gets under it two down Matt Olson up to the plate And now it's one and two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Peralta on the move. And he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. One left for Atlanta, but they're on top, one nothing. Miguel Rojas at the plate. This splits between April and May there. In the air, right side. Acuna there, and it's caught for the out. Now bat. The second baseman. So the batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Mookie Betts. This guy with light tower power. He's a guy who does it all. Line drive, caught! Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Chris, back in the day, they called Sean Casey the mayor. I think today's version of the mayor, the chattiest first baseman would be Freddie Freeman. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. So they make short work of him there. Part of the order, 3-4-5, coming up. It's the Braves 1, and the Dodgers nothing. 
Back right, now for the bottom eight. of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Phil Bickford. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's Sean Murphy. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, heading for two. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. That makes it a 15-game hitting streak, and there's some buzz about it now, Siggy. It's nothing crazy, but it does say a lot about how well he's seeing pitches and really making solid contact, barreling up the baseball at times, and everything, it seems, he's hitting hard. As hot as he is, I could see this streak going for a little while longer. And now here is Austin Riley. There's a swing and a drive. That's bad. And gone! A towering shot to center, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. Damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Eddie Rosario will hit next. Out towards left center, Peralta settles under it, puts it away for the out. The batter, number one, second baseman. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Ozzy Albee's a young guy that's putting together an impressive resume. Already two times an all-star, twice he's won the Silver Slugger, and he's one of the smallest players in the league. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, but he packs a lot of punch in that bat, especially from the right side. This is a guy that had four grand slams before his 23rd birthday. The only other players with four grand slams before their 23rd birthday, Ken Griffey Jr., Eddie Matthews, Ted Williams, and John Carlos Stanton. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now the Two outs, base is empty. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Outman puts it away, and that'll do it. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Truist Park, we go to the top of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. And still looking for that hit to keep this streak going. And this might be his last shot at it, Boop. Up the middle. The throw to first. Oh, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. 
I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. And now it's Max Muncie. And that's in there at the knees. Oh, and two now. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And here is JD Martinez having a lot more success on the road this season. Got him swinging. Dodgers go down quietly. Still down 3 0. You see how turned up that we be. You see how hot my degrees be. You see them jock trying to beat me. It's only one man, believe me. Believe me. It's only one man, believe me. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play Orlando Arcia. Orlando. The pitch. This one in the air center field. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one away. The center field. Number 14. Sam Hillier next up for the Braves. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Peralta under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. The right field, number 13. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Clips the outside corner, strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Outman under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Braves are set down 1 2 3, but they're on top by a count of 3 to nothing. Back here in Atlanta, we're at the top of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Goes down looking. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And up next for Los Angeles, David Peralta. In there for strike one. Left hand batter waits. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Runner at second. And next for LA, James Outman. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That one ripped. Two down. Two down. 
And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. In the air, right field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Braves three and the Dodgers nothing. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Shelby Miller. He's certainly been one of their better relief pitchers this season. The numbers are really solid, so they feel great about handing the ball over to him. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Olson uses a cutter. Now fly ball to right center. Outman drifts towards it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, catcher, Sean. And next for Atlanta, Sean Murphy. This guy has turned into a beast. Right-handed reliever. Smash to the left side. Rojas with the throw to first. Two up, two down. The bat the third baseman. Austin. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. That one drilled left field. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Eddie Rosario, next up for the Braves. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and one. Got it by him for the K. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Mookie Betts. Iglesias, 33 years old, and he was born in Cuba. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Hard on the ground to first. Takes it himself. One up, one down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Now bat the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And this is very likely the last chance he gets to keep his hitting streak alive. To the right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, he keeps the hitting streak going with that ninth inning knock right there. Coming through under pressure and not the ideal way to get the job done, Boog, but it works. You know, only once during DiMaggio's famous hitting streak did he wait till the ninth inning to extend it. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, and the best thing to do is get that thing out of the way early. No doubt about it. You can move on with the game. Otherwise, you start gripping the bat a little tighter as the game progresses towards the end. And a pitch. Ripped to third and caught. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. 
Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Just one strike away. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. No, Boog, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. Out to short, Arcia. On to first, ball game. And the Braves make it six straight victories. Ball with his sixth win in a row all of a sudden. You start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourself. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now.